keep it coming. Playing each piece like losing it hurts. This ain't checkers. You got to come get my king. All these other pieces are just a means to do. I'm not having my time with you. My name is Kaylin, and if you're new here, welcome. I am so, so happy to have you here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So for this video, I'm going to be going to Target and doing some hygiene pickups. I have to restock my hygiene cabinet and I'm just running out of a bunch of things. So we're gonna go to Target together, do some hygiene shopping, and then I planned on doing a little springtime shower routine because it now, believe it or not, is spring. I can't believe it. I feel like winter was so long, but we have made it, which means we're one step closer to summer. So I'm gonna do a springtime shower routine after I go and get everything that I need from Target. So I'm gonna take you along to Target and then we'll get into the shower routine. Cups and a rose, bitches in my old phone. I should call one and go home. I've been in this love too long. The woman that I would try is happy with a good guy. But I've been drinking so much. I just got back from Target and I have my bag of stuff right here. I pretty much stuck to the list except for a few things. So I'm going to show you all everything that I got. Starting off with one of the basics, I got some Q-tips. I just needed some extra of those. I got this pink loofah. I thought it screamed spring, so I needed a new one anyways. So I just picked up one of those. I get the Eco Tools ones. I like those the best. Then I just got a big tub of Vaseline. I feel like I use this every day just for random things. So I needed a new one. They didn't have any of the travel size ones because I usually like to keep one travel size at home and then one travel size in my everyday bag, but they didn't have that. So I just got the big one and maybe I'll put some in my travel size container for my bag at least. Next, I got the Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips uh, overnight, or I guess you can use this during the day, whatever you want. But this is pretty much a dupe for the Laneige lip masks and I've used those and I do like them. But this is so much cheaper and I actually think it's a lot better. It's a lot more hydrating and it leaves my lips with like a nice pink color to them. I feel like the Laneige ones kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. They make my lips look like a corpse pretty much. And that's not the look I'm going for. And I know that I'm going to sleep so it doesn't really matter. But I just like wearing this because you can put it on during the day or the night and it gives you a little color to your lips and it's very hydrating. So if you don't want to spend the money on the Laneige one, this is the one to go with. Next, I picked up my favorite um, panty liners. They're the Honey Pot Herbal Infused. They have mint, lavender, and aloe. If you're sensitive, they do have ones without the herbal infusion, but I do love these. I always keep them on hand and I just pretty much use them before my cycle and after just in case. The next thing that I got is the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Face Wash, and I use this every single morning. I used to use it inconsistently, so I didn't notice a difference, but once I started using it every day is when I saw a big change in my skin, and I was running out of mine, so I just had to restock on this. I got some Cottonelle uh, Flushable Wipes. These also have a touch of aloe and vitamin E in them, and if you are continuing to use um, tissue, not tissue paper, but toilet paper pretty much, I highly suggest trying out using some wipes instead. I feel like they really actually get you clean and fresh. The tissue doesn't do that. 
I fear. So I definitely think that these are a lot more hygienic and really just get you clean. So I get these because they're flushable and I do like the herbal infused, but of course, if you are more sensitive, then definitely stick to the ones without any scents or whatever. Next, I've been using this since high school. It's the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. I put it on my hair in the shower and just wash it out. And it really does help a lot with smoothing down my hair because especially in the humidity, it gets pretty frizzy. So I've gone on and off since high school using this, but ever like since the recent months, I've been using it almost every single hair washing day. And I just had to pick up a new one. Next, I needed to get a new deodorant. I was about to run out of mine and I used the Dove Advanced Care um, Cucumber one. I think this is cucumber aloe. And if you notice a theme with my sense cucumber, it's because shifting into spring, I'm not really like a floral scent type of girl, but I did want to switch out of my comfort winter scents, which are cocoa butter and vanilla. Those will always be my favorite, but going into spring, I definitely wanted to add that little spring scent to my shower routine and my hygiene routine. So I figured cocoa butters out cucumber is more of like a springtime refreshing scent. So a lot of these things are, um, cucumber, aloe, and then I do have a scrub in my shower that I'll be using later that is green tea. So it's kind of like a green theme going on, which I think is perfect for spring. Next, I got the shaving cream that I love so, so much. Not only is it cheap, but it does the job every single time. It's the Satin Care Gillette Sensitive Skin Shave Gel, and it comes in a pack of two. And I've been using this for almost a year now. I just keep repurchasing the pack of two and I use it on my legs, my armpits. I just think it's so amazing and it definitely is for sensitive skin if you struggle with little razor burn and all that. This is something that I used once before, loved it. The price on it is a little expensive, so I haven't bought it since, but I saw it today and I haven't seen it at my Target in a while, so I'm like, might as well get it while it's here, but it's the Natrium, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. And I loved this when I used it the first time. I think that it cleared up like body acne a lot and it doesn't have a scent to it. So I usually pair it with a scented body wash as well, but it definitely cleans the skin so, so well. So I can't wait to start using this again and see some more results going into summer. Next, I had to restock on my Dr. Bronner's. Um, it's the Pure Castile Soap and this is the peppermint one. I use this for my feminine area just to keep it fresh, keep it clean. Again, if you are sensitive, I am not, but if you are sensitive, using water is pretty good as well. But I like getting this, keeping it on the outside and just cleaning everything up. And honestly, the scent is so amazing. It's so strong. And if you use this on your body, you will feel squeaky clean as well. I had the bigger bottle, I was looking for the bigger bottle, but they seem to be out of stock, so I just got this one instead. And honestly, the bigger bottle lasted me about a year, so I feel like this will last me at least six months, so not too bad, but um, I just needed a new one of those. Next, sticking to my springtime scent, I got the Vaseline Aloe Soothing Hydration Moisturizer, so I'm gonna mix this in with my tanning moisturizer and I love the scent of this. I feel like it's gonna pair so well with everything else. And I used to use this all the time last summer, and then obviously I fell off going into winter getting all my like vanilla scents, but now that we're back headed towards summer, I can't wait to start using this again. If you have never smelled it, it smells so, so good. My boyfriend actually put me onto it, but it's just like such a refreshing scent. I highly recommend trying this out and it also is very very moisturizing and the last thing that i got is brand new to me it's the vaseline healing jelly coco shimmer jelly stick and from what i'm seeing is that you pretty much just rub it on your body and it adds a little like shimmer and glow to your skin which obviously i don't really need this going this is what it looks like and then you just can twist it up but i'm going to miami soon and I'm gonna have like my skin out or the sun's gonna be out. So I wanna add a little shimmer, especially if we're going to the pool or the beach, but I'm gonna test it out and let you guys all know what I think about it. 
I'm definitely excited. I've been wanting to get like a body glow, so I guess this is a good place to start. And I love Vaseline products so much. Can't tell I got my moisturizer, my lip therapy, my regular Vaseline. I have this, I've used the Vaseline oil. I just love the Vaseline brand. I think it's very underrated and they have a lot of amazing and moisturizing products. So that was it for my hygiene haul. I pretty much think this was about $80. I also bought food too, so it was about $80 or $90, which honestly is not that bad considering it's Target and we all know how hygiene hauls can get at Target. But we're about to get into the hygiene routine and I'm gonna walk you through all my steps, my re recommendations, everything that I'm doing for my springtime shower routine and show you all the products that I use and then also show you my skincare routine. So I'll see you all in a few. <laughs> So to start off my spring shower routine, I start by going in with my favorite hair mask. I put this on my hair straight away when I get in the shower so that I can leave it in there for at least 10 minutes while I do everything else. It really smooths down my hair. Then I go in with my favorite face wash. This has really cleared up my skin and made my skin just feel so much cleaner, which is definitely a must going into the summer in these hot days. And then I go in with my first of three body washes and I use my exfoliating gloves and the Dove soap bar. This is just my base soap to really get my skin squeaky clean. After this, I go in with my scented soap, which is the cucumber scent from Dove. I love this scent. It is so refreshing and definitely a great spring alternative to like those floral scents. So I go in with my loofah with this and then I go in with my third and last body wash. And this one is mostly targeted towards my back and chest, any areas where acne or body acne could occur. After that, I use my feminine wash, and then I go in with a scrub right before I shave. This is the green tea one by Tree Hut, which I just think ties in with the rest of the scents in this shower routine. I put this all over my legs, my arms, and bikini area, anywhere that I'm about to shave. Then I rinsed out the hair mask, and now I'm going in with my favorite duo for shampoo and conditioner. I think that this is perfect for like wavy to straight hair. It doesn't weigh down my hair or anything, it just leaves it feeling so sleek and soft. And the last hair product I use is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Frizz Serum. I just put this towards the ends of my hair and I have noticed a difference since using it. And then I go in with my favorite shaving cream and razor and I shave my legs and my underarms. Next, I am going into my skincare routine, and all of the products I used have made such a difference in my skin, the texture, my acne, and all those types of things. The watermelon glow, I feel like, was the biggest factor into the change of my skin. And then I also am using my gua sha for my forehead and my neckline. And then I have been using these tanning drops for at least two years now and I think they're great for the summer because I don't like to tan my face or put my face in the sun too much. So then my face doesn't really match the rest of my body so it's just been great using that to tan my face up. And last but not least for body care, I have been using my Glow Jergens Tanning Lotion for a while now and I mix it in with a moisturizer like the Vaseline one, which I'm using because I love this scent. It is so refreshing for spring going into the summer. And then I use my Tanning Water, which is by the Isle of Paradise. I think this is so great. I just spray it on my chest. And then I use my feminine hygiene products. This is a razor bump stick and the other one is just a moisturizing oil. 
And that is pretty much it for my shower routine. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced